Hi, my name is Mark and welcome to this tutorial on Edmodo. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a student account and a group. Now, before I start, you need to make sure that you have a teacher account. Pretty straightforward. Go to the Edmodo site, select teachers, add your email address and password and you will create a teacher account. So now we're looking at my teacher account and I'm going to create a student account that's linked to a group. Now by default you get a group. Now I've got this ICT classroom group and if I select it you'll see that I go into my uh, ICT classroom group. Before I move on I want to change the name of the ICT classroom group. I'm going to change it to just grade 6. So I'm going to go to group settings and I'll just change it to grade 6 and save and you can see that it's now been changed to grade 6. Now the most important thing about creating a group is this group code. So I need to select this, copy it and then go to the Edmodo site again and select students and paste that group code in there. This will link my students to my group. So let's add a student. And we're going to click in first name. We'll call it Sarah Blogs. And for the username, we're going to add Blogs 0004. Now, sometimes you might find that the username is already taken and you'll just have to try different variations until you get past that. We'll add a password. It says that my password's weak. As I'm just doing a sample, I'm not worried about that. So if you are worried about that, just add some characters uh, to increase the strength of the password and you'll be able to get a stronger password. So we're going to sign up and we're going to now go to the teacher account and select members and you can see that Sarah Bloggs is now in my class and she can start participating in some of the class activities that we are going to do. So remember if you're going to create a group with students in it you must have the group code which you can access when you go into your teacher account select grade 6 and there you see your group code and that's how you start adding your students by using that group code. Well, I hope that's been helpful when you're creating student accounts and a group.